Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I want to take about two, three minutes here just to go over how home values have been affected here over the last 90 days with the current shutdown. Uh, there's been some surprises, to be perfectly honest with you. The, just the bottom line is the prices have remained very stable, and quite frankly, most people would say they're very strong. And the reason why there are some surprises there, obviously, with all the unemployment, all the craziness going on, there was a lot of, lot of anticipation for things to really adjust downward. The surprise also was usually when the market contracts, we normally see home buyers take a back seat. Uh, they sit on the sidelines. At that point, we see more homes come on the market, take longer to sell, and you can see how things get a little soft. Just the opposite happened. The buyers in about two, three weeks of the shutdown, they immediately jump back into the market. They're extremely uh, bullish on, on the economy and everything else. And the inventory was tight to begin with, it was the homeowners that decided to pull back and we saw inventory even shrink more. So it did create that frenzy. It added to that, to that excitement to the buyers, even with everything going on. Don't get me wrong. There's been a tremendous amount of overall volume that has shrunk down. For instance, this time last year in the community, there were 29 homes that had to close escrow at this time. We've only had 10 close escrow. Uh, year to date. So it's a big 65% drop, you could say, in the number of homes sell. But that keeps the pressure on the demand, which has kept the prices very stable. Now, uh, as far as the rest of the year goes, it's very obvious that demand's going to stay there because the suburban lifestyle, the young families that are moving in, doing well, that want to move up, our community is a perfect fit when they're thinking of 10, 15 years to continue to raise their children. In addition to that, what we're seeing is what are the homeowners going to do? See, if the homeowners continue to stay on the sidelines and not move, well, no matter what comes with the elections and everything else, we're still going to see that healthy pressure and hopefully prices not only remain the same, maybe steadily increase. However, I've been speaking to a lot of neighbors and a lot of people who are thinking of selling, and their biggest challenge is this. Their biggest challenge is they don't know where to go. If they want to buy something bigger, something smaller, leave the area. They are very hesitant because they haven't really decided on a perfect destination. So that's not pulling them. For instance, the seven homes that we have on the market currently in San Joaquin Hills, six of them are vacant. See, those homeowners, they've already committed to their move, found their destination. They're very happy and they feel much more confident in taking the steps to get their home sold. That's a big difference for most homeowners who are on the sidelines there. So uh, if you want to share some ideas with your specific scenario, always feel free to give me a call. We could bounce some ideas off. Uh, but more importantly, uh, until we meet, you guys continue to stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.